Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of NASDAQ Spotlight live in Orlando, Florida at the Microsoft Ignite Conference. I'm Anna Gonzalez. We're continuing our conversations today with Harish Benkat, who's a VP of Global Sales Enablement at Veritas. Harish, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you for having me, Anna. Uh, so let's start off with an easy question. Yeah. Tell us about the company and what you do. Sure. So Veritas, as you guys know, we're a 35-year young company. Last 17 years in a row, we've been ranked number one in data protection. Not only that, this year we've been ranked number one in software-defined storage. We have more than 50,000 customers worldwide. Top 100 customers, that is a Fortune 100 customer, 96% of them trust their data to Veritas Solution. So I run their marketing and global sales enablement worldwide. That's fantastic. So what brings you uh, to the conference here today? How do you guys partner with Microsoft? Yeah, so yesterday, you know, I was listening to Satya's keynote, which I thought was really insightful. There are a couple of things that I want to take out of that keynote and repeat if you don't mind. The first thing he said was computing is happening everywhere around us. Now, I want to add that along with computing, there is also data being generated around us because of the proliferation of that and all of the smart devices that's happening. So we'll keep that in the backdrop. The second thing he said was tech intensity. He used the word tech intensity, which is really two variables to that equation. One, use the latest and greatest software and then build on top of it for innovation. So how does both of these things combine? Data proliferation comes with its own challenges. What do I do with this immense amount of data that's growing uncontrollably? How do I protect it? How do I store it efficiently? What do I do around governance of this data You know, for PII information? How do I leverage cloud to make sure that I have the best optimal infrastructure to store this data? The last thing I would say is how do I classify and have visibility to this data? So together with Microsoft, we have a great opportunity to solve this particular data problem for our customers. So if Microsoft and Veritas can put in that one piece of data and uh, tech intensity that Satya talked about, it allows our customers to build on top of it and be the innovators of the world. And I, I love how you just broke all that down because as we're listening to these different conversations, um, those are some areas that we haven't heard pop up yet. So um, considering um, the huge space that you're in, when you talk about data and its proliferation, is there a particular project that you're working on right now that most excites you? Look, every day at Veritas is exciting. But it sounds like it. Yeah, it is, and it really is. Last week, we just announced our Net Backup 812. Net Backup, as you guys know, is the most flagship product within data enterprise. And this new product is really exciting for me because in addition to protecting your traditional workloads, now we're protecting modern workloads like big data, like open source database, hyper-converged infrastructure. This is the area where data is really growing and now Veritas is protecting that space. In addition to that, the ease of use of Net Backup just got better. We have introduced brand new modern UX and UI for cloud and VM workloads. So all of our VM admins can now use Net Backup with such simplicity, they're going to absolutely love it. Net Net, modern experience for relevant workloads. And uh, so what you're talking about probably wasn't possible, what, two years ago, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, so if you think about even just being in the industry the last 10 years, yeah. uh, you know, what have you seen really evolve to get us to the point that we're at now? Well, it's interesting, just last decade, if you look at Fortune 500 companies, more than 50% of them have been disrupted. I think technology is ushering in brand new com companies that is allowing us to consume products and services in a very new and modern way. Example, Netflix disrupting Blockbuster. The underpinning service is still watching movie, but now we're watching it at our convenience, and that is disrupting the old way of doing business. You know, Uber is challenging the yellow cabs, again, making it very convenient for us. Cloud is challenging traditional infrastructure. The list goes on and on. So the trend that I'm seeing in the last decade is disruption happening as a result of technology ushering in new companies that is allowing us to consume traditional services, but in a very convenient fashion. And that's the future that I want to live in. What's that? And that's the future I want to live in, yeah. where everything is so absolutely, convenient. Absolutely, absolutely, right? So when I think about the future, it is 
the uncertainty that excites me and scares me at the same time. Absolutely. And, and my, my thought process over there is Moore's Law is in full effect, mm -hmm. which means 10 years ago, whatever we were dreaming of is becoming reality because compute and storage is very affordable. The concepts are not new, but implementation is becoming reality because of this factor. So I think it will be a twilight zone, and I can't wait to be part of it. I know, I'm so excited. All right. Uh, so let's uh, shift gears a yeah. little bit. Um, so a few fun questions for you. OK. Uh, what app can you absolutely not live without? Uh, VSPN. It stands for Veritas Sales Professional Network. It's a mobile app, which is allowing our employees and partners to have all Veritas information at the tip of their finger. Oh, very, co again, convenience. Yes, convenience. Yes. Uh, so what would you say is the coolest technology you use in the office? Uh, Surface Pro. Yeah, oh, yeah, again. Yeah, it allows me to take notes and meetings and catalog it instead of the traditional net notebook. Are you seeing a trend here? Convenience. Convenience. That's, a, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Uh, so, what convenient things do you like to do when you're not working? Uh, I love to play tennis and hang out with the kids. Yeah, oh, that's fun. Uh, and so, as we uh, wrap up here, um, what advice do you have for a future generation who's watching this and thinking, one day I want to be sitting where you are? I say be the disruptors of the world, think out of the box, and don't be disrupted because if you're not thinking out of the box and if you're not constantly innovating, your time in the industry is very limited. So, be the disruptors of the world, make magic happen. And clearly you guys have made magic happen to be Without continuing to disrupt for this long. Without so, a doubt. Thank you so much for joining Absolutely. us and sharing your insights. Thanks for having me. So good to meet you. Yeah. And thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more conversations here at the Microsoft Ignite Conference.